Hey everybody, I'm going to be showing you a quick demo of the iHarp today. I'm using it with the Toby iTracker 5 um, and I've got my laptop here and I'm recording myself on my phone so that you can hopefully see my eyes moving to trigger the different notes on the iHarp. Um, I'm still just getting familiar with this program so it's just a bit of a getting to know the program for me as well. Um, but it seems like it's got quite a few cool possibilities. Um, you can see it's got these colored bars around a circle. In the middle is a picture of an eye. So each bar, when you look at it, will trigger a different note. Uh, if you look in the middle at the little eye in the center, that will repeat a note. So I'm going to attempt to play Ode to Joy. Um, I did a little practice beforehand and it's quite hard to get the timing because I guess your brain's kind of like trying to anticipate. So um, yeah, anyway, I'll give this a little whirl and keen to hear your thoughts if you think this would be some software that you'd use in, in your work um, or for yourself. So um, yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments. Let's see if I can play Ode to Joy. Here we go. So there's the iHarp. Um, I realized just watching back that first part of the video, it's a little bit hard to see very clearly that my eyes are moving to trigger the notes, but that's the idea. So um, yeah, just to rehash the iHarp is tracking my eye movement through uh, an extra piece of hardware called a Toby Eye Tracker. And that's a little infrared camera which can pick up the movement of my eyes and then by depending where my eyes gaze, uh, that will be detected and the program iHarp will allow me to play a note based on which part of the screen I look at. So I hope that was interesting. Um, let me know how you might use this program.